This is the Sony DCR SR65 from 2008. If you look in the reflection, you can see the XR550 Sony Handycam that I'm recording this video with. You can see that it's pretty cool. This is from 2008. It does have a megapixel sensor and 40 gigabyte hard drive. The cool thing about this is it does record uh, memory stick duo cards. Here is the bottom and stuff, you know. But let me show you this. Look, you put the memory stick duo card in right here. They still sell these at Walmart. They're kind of expensive, but they're cool. And um, you can record videos and pictures to the memory card or the 40 gigabyte hard drive, which is pretty cool. 27 hours in the lowest video quality, which is not really recommended, but close-ups are will look better if you have to use that mode. Now this is the inside of it. Look, it has a, a backlight, display, battery info button, a disc burn button, and then an easy mode, and then a play button to watch your videos or pictures, I guess, whatever, whichever one you want to do. There's a speaker right here for um, to listen to your videos on. And that's pretty much all for that side. This is where you put the battery in. It don't have a it don't go in that much, but it goes in just a little bit, so that's cool. And here is where you would plug it in to charge it. And here is how you turn it on. I love it right here. I love these that have it right here when you're holding the camera. You can just turn it on and off. It's not a battery in right now, but this is my favorite way to turn on a camera. I don't like the ones that have a power button. You have to turn it on like that. It's kind of cheaper, but this is better. That's why I like this. And uh, you can see it has that. And on top there is my favorite thing, the night shot plus button. Well, it's a switch. It slides over. And on this one, the SR, no, not the SR, the, wait, what is this even? I forgot. Yeah, SR65. This does have an accessory shoe right here. I'm going to show you how good that is. This is the microphone. It has a 25 optical zoom, which is pretty good. As you can see right here, these are the different batteries. This does take, take the FH and FV series batteries. This would be FV 50, 70. The difference in the 50 and the 70 batteries, 70 is twice the milliamps, so you get twice the, twice the recording time and battery life, you know. And then FV 100, you don't get, it's not really double, it's almost double than this one, but it's not quite. And as you can see, I do use the Wasabi Power. They got a three year warranty. I bought these in 2014 for like $20 on Amazon. It's a really good deal. Let me go ahead and turn it on so you can see. And today is February 4th, 2017. It's a Saturday, 8.39 a.m. I've been up all night. Pretty crazy, but it's okay. I'm going to make a nice little video for you. And uh, Yeah, you can see I haven't used this. And when it starts out at 2008 for the reset, when it resets and shows you 2008, that's when you know they made the video camera. I'm not even going to set the date. I should have just clicked off of that. Look at that, 361 minutes. That's good. Get you a better view. That's six hours. You know, 60 minutes times six will be 360. And, um, yeah, that's awesome. Let me show you what the accessory shoe can do. Wait, what is this? Oh, yeah. I mean, where's the light? Have a light. This light's kind of popular. I got this a long time ago for like twenty dollars, but they cost they cost about forty dollars if they're new. I bought mine. Uh, it was used kind of, but here is the model number. Let me show you that. FVL HL1. See, that's how it works. You have to, it's, the the video camera actually char, uh, powers it on, and it runs off the video camera battery, which is kind of smart, I guess. Okay, let's get to put it in a certain way. Eventually this will wear out and it won't work anymore. So that's why I don't like it because I wouldn't want to have to use it all the time and then it wears out. Okay, let's see. Let's turn it on with this. See it. You can put it on. Um, let me show you this. You can put it on. Oh, wait, it's on. It's set to on right now. You can put auto where it only comes on if it's dark enough. And... Um, it's actually pretty bright, not the best ever, but it is pretty bright. And the more you use it, well, let me show you the actual battery time as I turn it on. Okay, let me show you with like at this. Okay, let's see. 
I'll make you remember to focus. Okay, 30, 360 minutes. There you go, 360 minutes with it off, with it on. Should be about half, I'm not sure though. Dang, it's a lot less. It's like less than half, but um, when it's dark, you gotta do what you gotta do, and if it, you just gotta use it, I guess. But uh, let's go back off. See, it takes up more than half, but I mean, it's cool if you have to use that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And um, yeah, sometimes there's like, it's a little hard. You gotta figure out how you lock and release. Release is this way, so I just gotta pull it off. There we go. And as you can see, the SR45 does not have an accessory shoe for that. And then I showed you the memory card goes in there. Over here, there's AV out to a standard definition TV. Because this is standard definition, it's not high definition. HDD means hard disk drive. As you can see, this XR550 that I'm recording with picks up the quality pretty good. Even though it's just HD LP mode, 5 megabits a second for high definition. 4K can go in like 100 megabits a second. That's for quality. This is for USB 2.0 to go to your computer to upload it to your computer, whatever, what do you want to do, pictures and videos. And that's cool. In the front, there is a, I guess it's an infrared sensor, and that's pretty much all it is. For night vision, which is really cool though, and this is how you turn, close, open and close this. This is the best thing to have. They have automatic ones, you turn it on and it just opens up like that, but I'd rather have a manual one because you could do it forever. And it'll, it'll probably pretty much work forever. Okay, the Vario Tessar lens is not the best one. Vario Sonar is the better lens. And uh, let me show you that. Okay. Yeah, 40 gigabyte hard drive. Let's go ahead and show you the menus real quick. Okay, let's try to get a close up. Okay, let's go to the top one, I guess. Movie, photo. There's that. Let's go down. Whoops. Okay, we're going to go back. It's okay. Yeah, I started there. Okay. Media info. Let's see that. See, that's a lot. Let me go back to here. You just go down. There should be a... Oops. That's okay. Movie settings. I don't think that's for that. Let's go to... Now we're going to go to here. This is how you change the video quality. There's all that. Super Night Shot Plus. That They don't put that on video cameras a lot. I think that's why this video camera is so popular because... It still has night vision that can record to a memory card for not a bad price. Here's what you do. This is the highest video quality is 9 megabits a second. SP mode 6 megabits a second. I recommend that's the lowest you go. But if you're recording at night time using night vision, 3 megabits a second is not bad. I think that's everything, I guess. Yeah, for the menus. And uh, what else do you want to see? Let me show you night vision. This does have the better night vision. To me, it's like not green. It's like black and white uh, you can't really tell right now but it is the good one to me and look how big this battery is it sticks out but I mean it's fine now as you do know if you watch my videos I do have SR45 the 65 is the better version megapixel plus it has more hard drive space and a little bit lower zoom but uh I mean, even though it has a lower zoom, it's fine, though, because they don't, they don't really matter. Okay, let's look over here. I also have the SR85, which is really cool. It's the best version of it, and this is pretty much exactly the same as this model, just a bigger hard drive. That's all it is. They advertise the same stuff, and the same stuff is on top. Same optical zoom and everything. That's cool. I got the the best version SR85 for $50 I think it was in um, I don't think it was early 2013 I got the 40 gigabyte in May 2012 for about or $76 at a pawn shop right at it and I got this one um, SR45 for about $110 at a at a pawn shop for yeah it was 110 is my first one or Wait, yeah, I had the this one for $76 already. Then I seen this one, I was like, oh, I remember this one. It's the same version. It's a little bit lower, and so I just went ahead and paid $110. And they do have, I do have the SR20 
220, pretty much the same camera. Wait, let me show you this. See, it has the same things you use. I don't know. Let me see if you do it like this. That's pretty cool. They came out the same year. They're both 2008. But they do, this one does have Vario sonar lens, which is better. This one does have a flash and the lens cover is automatic. I think I got this one for like $80 and it came with a tripod and a bigger camera. I mean, not camera, but battery. This does have night shot. It has the good one. You switch it over. That's my favorite way to use it. Pretty cool. Yep. And that's pretty much everything. I hope you watched my other videos where I did a review and test on the SR1, HDR SR1. Pretty cool thing from 2006 and I got the 2007 UX7. This is the best high definition DVD video camera probably ever made. Pretty cool. I did a review and test on that one. Hopefully you enjoy this and um, pretty much all for the video. I'm using the XR550 to make this video. Now it's 8.47 a.m. I got to upload this and make sure it's perfect. Then I'm going to go to sleep for a little while. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you'll go and watch my other videos and the other stuff that I record on this Zach TV 18 channel. But thank you so much for watching and goodbye for now.